far. Didn't see this one. Holy goose and oh, it's got some in it too. It's stuck to the ground even. We near that one. Oh yeah. One, two, I'll take the spring and the peg as scrap steel only. As scrap steel. That's another one there. Geez, we've got a few in here. Wow. That's that's aluminium, I think. I'll take it. I have to bring a magnet with me. Test all this stuff out. Get all the tools of the trade, you know? Stick them to me, to me lid. Have them dangling there on a bungee.
weight in this one. Right, what we'll do is we'll go through that first. Get him done, get him out of the river. Oh, we've got some carpet here too. Yeah, not gonna touch him. Put them there. Get them out of the road. Now foil. Pizza box. Pizzeria. The zip toy? Oh, it's broken. They broke it now. They broke it. Ooh, that's hard, those ones. They stick on. The old Bundaberg rum. Ooh. Get rid of that rubbish too. Mmm, smells nice. Another mat. Another mat. Yeah, it's a shower thing out. Hey, that don't look too bad, that. Keep chuck them in the wash. Take that one. And there's a glass in there somewhere. There it is. Little. Underberg Diet Ginger Beer. Oh. Didn't know there was a diet one. Who's on a diet these days? Not me. Oh yeah, I am on a diet. Seafood needed. That's a good diet. Don't complain about that diet. That's it. You eat it. Seafood and eat it. What are we going down now? Drag the bags up. To the top. Ooh. Probably nothing in that. Oh, there's a can in that one. That's all there is. Two cans actually. Put it in there. Bottle in that one. Junk is falling off my truck. Can in that one. Do -do -do. Can't see. Don't feel the beam. Nothing in that. Mm, one or two in there, I think. What's that? Plastic. What is it anyway? Shampoo. Feels like it's. It's got some in it. I'll take that home. Why waste it? Hey, that's a... That's the other one. That's the other one. The mate to it. Right. Give this a toss around. Oh, look at those two. Sitting up begging at me. These two. I'll take those two. There's another one though, no, that's the other Jim Bean bottle. Bundaberg bottle, I should say. Get it right. right. Put this junk in there. Get that can out of there. Get the other can out of that bag too. Do away with the whole bag. Right, where do I see this one? Is there one on that? Nope. No junk in that trunk. Here you go, mate. Regular rubbish? Yeah, mate. Yeah, it don't matter. I still go through it anyway. Rubbish, general rubbish, whatever. I've got aluminium foil trays, you name it. <laughs> Take the lot. Yeah. Even when it's like that, I unwrap it, get the foil out. <laughs> oh, mate. Have a look up the back. There's a carton of eggs there. You want some eggs? Oh, yeah. There's about a dozen there. So if you don't want them, I'll just take them home, test them, and. Ham. Yeah, ham. I'm not testing the ham, though. I'll take the foil. 
<laughs> I'm a micro scrubber. Oh, throwing a can away. How we going, mate? Got a few there, eh? Got some dollars. And that adds up too. Does it? Oh, yes. Yeah, 20 kilos so far. 20 kilos? That's a lot, isn't it? What, have you got a, uh, scales in there? Yes. Yeah, no, what I do is I press the, with all the foil, right, you wouldn't think that compressing that up, washing it up first, getting rid of all the food waste on it, yeah. um, actually, when you've done all that, in all of that, and you can press it down, what I've done is I've got a shop press, and I've made up a oh. jig that goes in the shop press, and I I just press it down. I've got 20 kilos so far. Wow! And it's a 12-ton chop press. Wow! So, and even when it comes down to yeah, alfoil trays, because they're heavier. Yeah. Yeah. Even these ones. Yeah. I can't clean that, but they'll get that'll go through as it is, because that's only re residue. Yeah. They, they class it as dirty alloy. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, I got 20 kilos so far. Ooh, Probably good. adding up to almost 25. Because every press, every time I press a block up, it's five to six kilos. Okay. So I had to make it up fairly strong for the like I get up there and I'm struggling on the on it's just a hydraulic jack yeah. on the press that came with it. It's only a super cheap one, does the job. And um yeah. I've got that many people that want want the design and that sort of thing. It's unreal. No, mate, no. It was only a homemade job. <laughs> so I could survive to get this done. Because I actually, um, you know, the lids off the wine bottles? Mm. I take them too. Because okay. they're aluminium. Mm. So where do you get oh, rid all of the, All the glass and the cans, I take it to Griffith. All the aluminium foil trays that I'm doing up, they actually, I'm going to be taking it to Wagga. So, because I've got a whole heap of ferrous metals, so I've probably got at least, I'm estimating, mating in tonnage, probably, probably two ton. Yeah. And then I've probably got, um, in aluminium and extruded aluminium, combine that together with all of this, you're probably looking at about, 200 kgs adds yeah. up. Adds up. Yeah. When you look at how much scrap metal is at the moment, like for non for ferrous metals, which is all your magnetic stuff, yeah. um, it's 150 dollars a kilo, uh, a ton. Sorry. But that's not much, really. You need a great quantity, like a big trailer load. Better yeah. turn that around, the truck won't pick it up otherwise. <laughs> he comes today, the truck does. That's why I'm getting in doing the bins. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I try to beat him. He, he just about caught me out one day. I'm down here at the last bin down here. They had a venue on on the weekend, maybe one time. I didn't know that because I'm not from the point here. Yeah. I'm from Griffith. And uh, I come here and I'm slugging it out, slugging it out, there's bins after bin after bin and then I could hear this truck coming and I thought I just grabbed an empty one and shot on down there with the car <laughs> just chucking it in, chucking it in because this was overflowing oh, yeah, oh, you, you haven't seen some of my loads like there's one load where this is full and then I got two wool packs up the back Yeah. yesterday I had this full and a wool pack on, on my trailer because I had to pick up microwaves, fridges and all that sort of thing too oh, because <laughs> I do copper as well. You're a busy man. Besides, I've got a full-time job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where do you find time to do it? A lot of people ask me that. Don't worry. The wife helps out a fair bit. <laughs> right, she's there at the full-time job all the time. We're the caretakers of the group of folks. Oh, okay. So that's our full-time job. Yes, and it's only, oh, where am I going? It's only $10 per van per night. Yeah. 
We have hot showers, hot and cold showers. No drinking water though. You get your drinking water before you go out. It's right on the lake. Uh, lake Wangan. So if you're heading to Griffith, short stop away. It's only 30 for, uh, from here, you're looking at about uh, 40 kilometers. We had to come here. Oh, did you? Oh, fair enough. Yeah, we're out on the lake out there. It's actually in Wiki Camps. If you've got the Wiki Camps app, yeah. um, it's in that. Now, we've only just recently updated the price as of yesterday. Um, I posted a post oh, back, I think it might have been a month or so back, where it was $15 per person per night. But we've had confirmation from the treasurer of the club that we can lower it just to keep campus in. So that's what we've done. $10 a night now. Yeah. $10. That's cheap, isn't it? It is. <laughs> but you've got to drink, supply your own drinking water. There's no dump point there. The dump point's in town. Um, but what do you get for $10 these days? Sometimes you don't even get a hot shower. Yeah. So that's what a lot of people have got to realise. But it's good for, say, people like this where they may have a little shower in there but they don't want to use it. Yeah. So, and that's why we've gone that way. What's in that box? We've got a shower and don't want to use it. Well, that's the same as us. You know, we've got a shower. It's just too small. I like to swing a cat in a shower. <laughs> Let alone we've got seven of them. And we've been in our caravan for going on 15 years. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah. It's got no gas in it. And the amount that I find of them still got gas in them, I'll take them home. Okay. Yeah. Like today, just for today for instance, I've found a full beef stock factory sealed. That is not opened. Um, a lemon? Oh yeah. Extension cord, camera, camera, <laughs> um, tub of margarine, still factory sealed, still got the paper inside. Yeah. Popper boxes, factory sealed. Yeah, a couple of towels, some chocolate mousse from KFC. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh yeah, I've got a couple of gas cans on the floor. <laughs> See, we haven't had to pay for these since I've been doing this. Huh? I use them for cooking my toast every morning. And, you know, for the past three years that I've been doing this, haven't paid for any of these. We get down to our last, and then there's a big venue on, and I get a whole heap. <laughs> so we grin and bear on that last one and try and get as much out of it. The good key thing with these two, I'll give you a point, if you do use them, if you've got hot water and it's going to be a cold morning, run it under there first. Okay. Because it heats it up and they last longer. Because they go cold, they freeze. Because they're 99, uh, what is it, 98% butane and 2% uh, normal gas. Oh, okay. Because if you just have ordinary butane in there, they'll freeze up pretty quick. Mm. Something go. I found out myself. Learn something every day. Well, that's the thing. You're never too old to learn. Ah, that's... Like, I've learned a lot doing this. So, yeah. But you think, you know, with my load yesterday, I would have probably got at least 130 to $150 worth of cans and bottles. Yeah. Because of my wool pack on the top. But in the load I had previously, before that, probably nearly two hundred dollars and that's only for about four hours work who can earn two hundred dollars for four hours <laughs> yeah, it's nearly nearly you could say fifty dollars an hour almost that's pretty good no one's on fifty dollars an hour they're all around the 25 28 30 dollars an hour yeah i'm on good money yeah. but the thing is the good thing is too that has paid for three of these cars yeah. A trailer. Oh, it's also bought another 
holding Commodore or for your daughter and that sort of thing. There's money in it to be... Money in scrap. Uh, uh, there's money in scrap if you know how to do it. Yeah. Especially in this stuff. You know? uh, it's a pity there's not a lot more of it. Like my brother's over in WA there and he said there's none of this getting collected over there because there's no recycling centre over there. Isn't there? Nope. None. Not a one. Yeah. You having a good old scratcher, yeah? yeah? Oh, you'd be loving that on the tar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got our cats on the harness. And they walk around like that. Yeah, yeah. Our, our cat does too. Yeah, but we, she's back in the caravan. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna keep moving. I'm yeah, gonna get back to my day job too. Yeah. So I got uh, what uh, two more to go? Oh no, three. I've got to do that front one yet. Yeah. yeah. I get it wherever I can get it from. Yeah. I'm willing to get my feet dirty. Uh -uh. <laughs> Even if I've got to change the trousers, put another pair over top and change them into me scrubby old boots. Still kept boots to get into those. That's what I do. Yeah. Um, just to get that. And it's worth a quid. If you're willing to get dirty and, and wash after, why not? Yeah. Yeah. So I've got a lot of sanitizer in the car. <laughs> and and good, good latex gloves. Yeah. All right, you've got to have double back, you know, latex on the back and latex on the front. So yeah, I've only got to uh, pick a, that was out of the bottom like that. Picked it up like that. It's slippery, but I can pick it up like that. That's three fingers. That's all right, eh? That's so, good. I only bought them from bunnies. <laughs> get, get your sausage sandwich too. Oh no, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> But yeah, I do, in the aluminium foil, I find a lot of um, gravies and that sort of thing. I just, I've just got to wipe it out. If I find a whole heap of paper in the, like soft paper, I wipe all the gravy out. But I've got to wash them all, that's the thing, before I compress it. Because yeah. it adds weight. And they deduct you. So, and they deduct on their side of it. Well, that's what I say, they deduct you on their side of it. Yeah. So, yeah. Because they're going to make it quid too. Because yeah. by the time you, you smelt that down, you actually melt it down to, say, a block, you lose 70, I think it's 75% of it in dross. Wow. Well. Because you're melting it down. So it's worth more as a block. <laughs> Things I've found out myself just by talking to people, scrap metal dealers that you're not going to. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. Well. My, because uh, you lose your cost. Yeah. My mate in Western Australia, he does um, a lot of scrap metal stuff out at Forest Field. Yeah. I can hear you, don't worry. <laughs> I might have my head in the bin, but I can still hear you. I'm still listening. I've just got to keep going. If you can keep talking. That's got 10 cents on it. But yeah, no, my brother's over there in the mines and um, he said there's none of this 10 cent stuff over there. They've got the 10 cent on the can and the bottle, but no one's doing it. Yeah. He said, why don't you come over here and get a semi trial later? I said, Dennis, no, come on. <laughs> no, it'd take me too long. The cost of traveling over there with a truck, there's 800 bucks one way. No, you don't get enough out of it. No. And you'd have to spend two weeks over there just to do anything, any good. But apparently the roads, side, sides of the road are that littered, it's unreal. Mm. He's out at Pingerley near WA. What is it? Pingerley. Oh, yeah, Pingerley. Yeah, Pingerley they call it. Yeah. I call it Pingerley because it's quicker. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, he's working out the mines somewhere out that way, I don't know where, with BHP. Oh, okay. He's really up there. Driving all those big dump trucks and God knows what. Yeah. <laughs> the like the bottom part of the tyres stand on the top of his head. <laughs> they're big tyres. <laughs> so, yeah, they're, uh... they're not the small machinery where we, we look around here. They're the big ones. Because mm. he's all open cut. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. What's the matter? You want to get going? Yeah. Tell Dad, come on, get going. 
Yeah, come on, we'll let this man do his work. Won't hold him up. <laughs> come on. What's the matter? Here, you want a pet? Come here, I'll give you a pet. They good with that, are they? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, take the dirty gloves off, of course. <laughs> Your hands will probably smell different. No, actually, they're, they're, as you can see, they're real sweaty and clean. Mm. And they're actually nice and clean. They smell like rubber. What's the matter? Here. Yeah. What's the matter? Oh, yeah, I'll sniff both your hands. Hey, what's the matter? Hey? Good girl. Good girls. Good girls. It's Dixie. Hey? Very coarse hair. Isn't it? Oh, you're telling me. There you go. You had a pet. Do you had a pet? You like to pat under the chin too, don't you? There you are. Oh, there you go. You want to? Daisy. You want Daisy, eh? What's the matter? What's it? You want more? Ooh, you jealous. want more? <laughs> there you go. Had yeah. your pet. Okay. Happy now. Tail's gone. <laughs> All right. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Safe yeah. travels too. Yeah. And, uh... Happy collecting. Happy collecting. <laughs> be on the um, top top twenty businesses. Well, stock exchange. No, I forget the stocks. <laughs> I won't go there. I don't like the stock exchange. No, it's it's like lotto. It screws you too many times. <laughs> so yeah. Bought out by a multinational one. Yeah. Well. Only green. That's it, mate. That's it. All right, I'll get back to it. That's later. That's those. Oh, there's a, there's a lid. Whiz him off. Anyway, let's get going on another one. There's one there and there's another one way down yonder. I'm going to pull the glove off again. Oh yeah, there's a couple of gas cans. God knows what in there. Let's get it done before it rains. It's supposed to come in downpour soon. I think it's tomorrow. Go, 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 go. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. That's good. Put that there so I know I've gone through it. No one checked it. That one's in. Two. Right and center. Can't keep up with them. Selling a washing machine. Can't keep up with them. The one lady wants to hang on to Friday. Yeah. There's another bloke. He wants to see me this afternoon. Christ almighty, mate. Come on, give me a go. I'm just a wanted person. That's what I reckon. Pull that out of there. Make it a bit easier. Last week, 
two bags out of it, four packs. Bloody fishing line. Right. Throw the junk back in its trunk. Into there. We don't want those. They're empty. What have we got in that? Oh, there's a bottle. Ooh, we've got a little light too. Wonder if it works. Probably just need new batteries. Open, close. Grab the goat. Grab the can. Right. Get on to our second last one of the day. Put that up there. We'll show everyone what we got. We're not finished. Way down between the two trees down there. Have a look in there. Oh, we got one can in there. Can, no oil foil. No, it don't look like it. Just about popped out of that one. Oh, there's something heavy in the bottom. No, we're not going to go take that. There's a bottle there. There's a bottle there. There's a bottle. There's another can. There's another can. Oh yeah, get that out. We've been very blessed and lucky today. Go through with one camera. I have to use two. I done a tricky thing. Has that got any in it? No. Um, I plugged an extra power source in. So that's just luck. Has that got 10 cents on it? I know that one does. But I don't know about this one. 6% alcohol. I cannot see a 10 cent logo. I'll get further down there. Don't look like it. No. And it's a plastic lid. So we won't take that one. Fishing. We're going fishing for it now. She's a fishing bin. Got to dig for them. Ooh. Ooh, we're not emptying that out. We're just leaning that up against the fire. Put that there so it doesn't blow away. Grab this bag, grab that first before we grab the bag. Put the bag down there. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Get that junk out of that trunk. And we'll put those over in my trunk. There's a bucket up can there, we'll take it for a scrap. It's amazing how much you can dig out of a bin. Don't tear that open too much. Put him down there. The last one. Yeah, I was intrigued on this one. 
dry tonic. No ten cent. Oh yes, he is a ten cent. Take this. Take, take the dry tonic. We're not going to empty that food out. Oh, it can stay there. Take that owl foil. Yep. Take that one. Got some weight in that bag. Got to know. What the hell is going in? Ah, full of juice. All right, we leave that all in there. All right, grab this stuff. Pour that in there. That's it for that. Oh, come on. Be my game. No. Yes. Mate, you're going the wrong way. I've got a label for that one. Geez, you must be trying to put it down hard. Putting it down or putting it up? Ooh. Through there. Get this one done and we'll get around the other side. I try to do this the cleanest way possible. The best way possible too. As you can probably all see, it's not an easy way of doing it. Takes time. Mate, you've got it down. Sounds like a machine gun off, going off. I'm not going to intervene. He needs to lower one side down, sir. So hammering it out and wearing it out that bag I went through they um trying they're trying to get it level they're better off lowering the door side less wear and tear because it goes on a ratchet system and um, yeah, they can, can break. It's only held in by a pin. That's all they are. Hey, we'll take that. Potato peeler. Oh, you're back. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> no. You just had some visitors. <laughs> That's what I'll say. You had some visitors. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, what happened, well, those ones might have been there, I'm not sure, but um, we're, we're in there when we do the recycling. Yeah, well. And then we, 
We could have put them in the bin at Pink Crowd. Nah, I mean, we could have get, get recycled a bit there. Well, here, when you leave, just after the truck comes today, just yeah. put them in the bin and I'll get them next week. Oh, okay. Because they come once a week. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. yeah. I'll work. No. Yeah. And that, this is only the week's worth. Okay. Yeah. No, but, but yeah, I was saying to one bloke yesterday, you should have you seen me load yesterday. This was full, I cover this over, and then I load that, put that down, and then what I do, um, I've got a couple of wool packs, yeah. I usually put up the back. Because okay. I've got to go through that front one yet. Okay. Yeah. Out the front. I'll get it wherever I can find it. No, I can tell you that. Yeah, but I'll tell you straight away. In the whole town of Dunling Point, Colliambly, no recycling. Yeah. Not a scary. I found that out from a council boat. Yeah. So yeah. And they're actually glad that I'm doing something about it. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah. Oh, you imagine all of this going to landfill? Yeah, it's to be. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I know. I know. I've got it all on camera. Yeah, yeah. Got <laughs> it all on camera, bro. Yeah. Anyway, mate. No worries, yep, yep, you have a good one. But yeah, whenever you leave, just put them in the bin. After the truck's been, though. After the truck's been today, though. Yeah, okay. I'll fish them out. Always do. <laughs> Never fail. Timmers in. The recycler. I only do certain points. I've got to go check out a lady that um, I used to collect from. And uh, she's moved the bin. So I'm wondering where it's gone. They've done a clean up well, last week. And I've been keeping an eye out where the bin is. And I found out today that the bin's been moved. So either the husband's cracked a wally and said look no more just chucking it out no, I just don't know I've got to go check it out later problem is there at work I've got to just check out see where the bin is unfortunately so that's it for this one I'll get around and start in the rest fill this ute right up fill it full damn gloves I can never get the bloody things off. They suck to me fingers. Oh, there's some more bottles in there, and I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. I'm back at the start where I started from. You never know what you're going to pick up. That's the problem with people. They don't know how to... Oh, that bag hasn't been through. It has it. No, there's some in there. I haven't got to that other bin yet. Had a big massive evacuation through here. Might go back and just check those down you know, the face side. Oh, look at that. We'll take those. Now, I done these early this morning. Just on my finish rounds. And you've got to always come back. Check them over when the band's gone. Because you'll always miss some. You always get those scragglers that are... Dragging the chain. Not often I come back, but just this morning I thought, oh, I'll just go back and check them. So that's what I've done. I've come back and checked them, and I've got a few more. Oh, yeah. 
Dude, look at what's in here. Nothing there though. Oh yes, there's one. They've been used. Yes, they've been punched. Nothing else there. Grab that bag. Three there. Whatever that is. Looks delicious. Wasn't harmed or got wet. Anyway. What do we got here? What are they throwing away here? We'll take those three and the basket. What is it? I think it's a food. Oh, it's to keep the flies off your food. Yeah, we'll take that. June will go. June will say, what the hell are you bringing that crap home for? Can't you leave it in the bin, she'll say. <laughs> that's what she says when I can use it at home. <laughs> anyway, that's the way it works. If I see something I want to save, I'll save it. Why not? We might just back up and have a look at these others. Okay, let's have a look in this. That side was already open. There's a fair bit in here. I'm hoping this gets emptied because they didn't empty it last week. Got a whole heap of alfoil trays there. Or alfoil, I should say. Um, look at this. Wow, that's a heavy piece. That's a very heavy one, that one. We might have to get our pack out. Maybe not. What the devil's down there? There's a fan. I'm going to have to change me trousers, put a pair on and uh, change my shoes, put my boots on, that sort of thing, so I can dive on in it and see what how much we can get out of it. I think that's the best bet, because I'm going to be overloaded here. This is going to be enough for here. I'm going to have to pull forward, um, put my pack between here and here, and that's the best I can do. So, yeah, I think that's the best thing for me to do. Gonna have a small load for the pack, but I'm not putting any more in there. So I'll get it all sorted out, get it all fixed up. Alright, I'll kit it up. I feel like Goliath in these bloody boots, but anyway, that's part of what I do. <laughs> right. Sort some of it out while I'm out here. Just put it all in here, regardless of what it is. Let's hope we don't get too much glass. Uh, that way, that way. That way, I'll get the stuff on top here before we worry about any more. I can't get that straw out. Oh, that's some of that medical stuff, I think, from last week. Take that tray. There's a whole bag there. Ooh, look at that. Nice and clean, that one. On the way down the bottom. Right. Now, I better make a note Better still, I'll just do this, I know I've done it. Put it here, I know I've done it. It's a better way. Don't want the plastic. That's done. Well, we're not gonna worry about that bag sitting there. That might have been a bad mistake because I know I filled that corner before I filled this. This corner was almost empty. So, strategy will be try and empty this corner out. Ah, oh dear. What did I get myself into today? Woke up thinking it was going to be an easy day. Yeah, no. Not an easy day. But, the good thing is, I'm saving it from landfill. That's all I've got to think of. Tell myself, saving it from landfill. Alright, put that there. So I'm picking it up twice.
Come on, let's just come. Yeah, that'll go. Come on, mate. He's a wine one. Mango, yep, 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 yep. Put in there. Right, pull the rest out. Stuck to the bag. We're going to avoid it. Double. Never mind. Here goes nothing. Oh. Perch up. Rest. Perch rest here. Oh, that's not going to work either. Because there's a fan there. Um, yeah, I just don't know how to tackle this. Because there's a fair bit in here. How about I slide my bum this way? That looks like the bottom of where yeah, that's it, that's the bottom down there. It didn't go in. Yeah, that's the bottom of where I was. So if I can make room there, without squashing too much junk, That didn't go in the bag. That did. Oh, made it awkward for myself. Cornered myself. These they're everywhere in here. They must empty the bins. In here. Because this is not park rubbish, this is, well, it's park rubbish. Oh, I see what's going on. <sighs> My bag's not lined up. I jumped in here and I didn't tie it up. Okay, we're going to make some headway here very shortly. I'll ricochet it off the car. Oh, grab that. Foil. Put that up there. That bit of foil. That bit of foil. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're not going to leave that bit of foil. It's got, got creepy crawlies all over it. You get that. I am in a food rubbish bin. Oh, I can't bend. Certainly snookered myself here. Come this way. Get myself out of that goddamn corner. Can't squat, do nothing. Here we go. I might have to somewhere. Oh, that's that jug from last week. Yes, I didn't take that. That's the bottom there. Alright. Grab that. Keep missing. That won't fix it. Back up there. I'll get to you later. Oh, I've got another chair in here. <sighs> what the devil we got in here? Is that toys or something? Looks like it. Toys and trinkets. Yeah, there's a little man in there. I'll have a look at that later. When we're at the end of the video, I'll have a look. Well, that cut it open and squeeze at it. 
and get our candy at the moment. Our gold. That's what I think. Our gold. Can't just whiz those off. I'm not moving my bag over there. I'll do a pan and that way I'll get past all this junk. There's this one down there. Yeah. We've got to get more out of here than what we expect. Put that there. I wasn't taking that out for right, get rid of this box. That's a long fan, it goes way over there. A bit more junk for my trunk. Yeah, I'll be able to get that out very shortly. Let's get into this one and we'll have a look at the fan. See what's in here. Set of worms. Let's see if there's worms in there. No worms. We'll get rid of the dirt. Alright. Unearth this fan. Nothing in that. That made a mess. Whatever that is. Meat. Yeah. I'll eat the meat. Alright. Back in action. Come on out. Come on out. Mug. You're not a teacup anyway. Did I leave that from last week? I must have. Yeah, I did. A bit hard to clean. Ooh, move the foot. Go on, deck down my trouser leg. Up my trouser leg. In there. We'll put our foot on that. Don't want smelly boots on the way home. I've got a little hurt.
That's a good sound, that is. Glass breaking. <laughs> That's recyclable. You can wait. I'm in a bin. In a dumpster, mate. Just hold your horses. You want it. Ooh, don't do that. Do that. Some people just don't understand getting messages and messages and messages. Can't answer the phone at the moment. Give me a break. Only if life was so simple. I'd tell it how it is though. As you can see. <laughs> well, I suppose they can't see what I'm doing. So it's only expected. Another one about the wash machine that I mentioned earlier. Harvey Norman's washing machine picked up. Yeah. Good home. Nothing wrong with it. Good to work. Well, I give it to a cycle. And yeah, she was working. Picked up two actually. One had a buggered up circuit, uh, front panel board. So I ordered the panel board get last night. Went through all of its cycles. Nothing wrong with it. Going up for sale soon. I don't put nothing in storage. The moment I've got it, I offload it. No point hanging onto it and paying for storage. You're only paying dead money. Especially with this stuff. Don't pay for storage. For whatever you do. It's just one of those things that's dead money. See a lot of YouTubers that are paying for a storage shed. Nah, not my cup of tea. You're burning your money. You're not saving money. Some people mightn't have this for space like we have, but I still class it as burning money. I'm not having a go at anyone else out there, but if you haven't got the space, offload it quickly. I know one boat does. Does a damn good job at it too. Doesn't hold it in storage or nothing. Doing good for the environment. Keeping it out of landfill. What the devil we got in this? Oh, little wiki. No, oh, okay. What the devil are they? Oh, okay. Junk in its trunk. I'll take that junk. Get off me fly. <sighs> that over there, we're making some headway. <sighs> oh, these bags are strong.
And I wonder why plastic takes so long to deteriorate. Ooh, did I just break one? I did. Stuck it in a different section. I've been dropping it in one spot and I just broke one. Once one breaks, they all break. Not often I break them. Got here. What the devil we got going through there? It's a handle for something. We'll get all this other out the road first, I reckon. Oh, we got a bag of glass. Look at that. Look at that. Get down there. Pull that out. Take those. Put that back on there. Fit for you. One there. Oh, I suppose I can take it for scrap metal. I shouldn't. But that's extra I've got to take. Anyway, I'll just do those couple that are in my hands. I had someone comment saying, well, why don't I take those? I'll just take those two. Heap of grapes in here. Look at that. Whole heap of grapes. Unfortunately, I'm not taking them. Why? Because they've been contaminated. Contamination. True, this you don't know how long it's been sitting in here for. Because they got perforated holes in the bag. Don't trust it. I don't plan on getting sick. I don't try to get sick either. Only if it's factory sealed, I'll take it. But when it comes to things like that, no, no thank you. Here, we'll use that. We might not use that, we might take that. That looks all nice. Got a, got a thread out. I'll use it. Wipe the hands on. When finished, I'll take that. Broom handle. Got those two there. Nothing under box. Nothing under box. Over this away. Here and there. Bananas in pajamas can go that way. Spill your beans there, boy. Nope. 
bit of mud cake. Look at that. They, what? Quarter of it? Threw it away. Hmm. Really good in this one. They cooked me dinner. Not my dinner. Give her the food. No food in that one. You don't realise, actually, when you start doing this, um, on how much alfoil, aluminium foil, it actually gets thrown away. You don't realise on how much there is until you start collecting it. It's astounding on how much gets thrown away. I didn't think there was that much, but yeah, when you start getting it, there's a fair bit of it. That one won't go. Nothing else in that. I think we're done there. You know, there's one. over there and do these. Ooh. Grab that. Get rid of that. Put that in there. Yeah, I'll take that one. Like that. I think we're just about done. Here's some ticky ticky in the bed. Oh, it's glass. Oh, what's that? Whew. That's last week. Yeah, this is all. Oh, no, that's not last week. Or is it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, that's all last week. Yep, bag's already open. So we're down in here. We can hop on out. Yeah, there's that fishing rod. You broken? No bits yet. They're all done. Ooh, those bananas are going rotten. No lead on no one. Yeah, yeah that's all done from last week. Oh yeah. Get out for there. Ooh, yucky. Yeah, salad. Get that out of there. Give it a rinse out. About the only bit that it will take. That's it. Done. Jump on out. See what we broke and what we didn't break. It was broken down there. Can't see it. Oh, there it is. Broke a glass bottle. Never mind. We'll break some more. That's the go. Like the sound of that. It's glass I don't have to take. Anyway, I'll get it all sorted out. Um, what we got for today. And no more in there. No, that's it. That's good. Um, and get this all sorted so I can get it started to cover over oh yeah I was gonna go through that wouldn't I we'll do that in a minute but yeah I'll get the sheet out get it ready for covering it over uh, get the bag all sorted out and get everything what we've got and I'll put it on the sheet on the back here all right right yo that's gonna do it for this episode um, I got two and took the fan, the plastic off the fan, 
took the casing off the chair because that's only going to be scrapped out anyway the fan shrouds I'll hang on to but anyway we'll get down to what we found today this thing is to keep the flies off your food you put a pet platter of food down on the on the table and you can lift it on and off and move it all about um, it's a traveling one by the looks of it doesn't fold down of any way they've thrown it away I'm gonna hang on to it June will love me for doing that um, she always looks for these sort of things it's got a little hole there where a fly might be able to get through but anyway I'm um, getting on got a bath mat uh, I thought yeah we could take it home wash it up reuse it ourselves also I'll get to that bag in a, in a sec um, in a second that means three hand towels might not look like three hand towels there but we can do the same with those wash them up and reuse them ourselves now getting down to this little bag um, not sure what's in it oh we got some toys and all that sort of thing in there the little man oh that's that's um i can't think of him um oh geez on the tip of my tongue yeah you'll be saying that to me saying yep yep that's who that is but i can't think of him but anyway um yeah little plane i might hang on to that i'll start doing a little collection of little toys and that sort of thing what the devil would that be toy off don't know top turns but yeah i'll bring collecting a lot of little toys oh that goes on the top oh that's yeah that goes on to that no I don't know what that was there's some missing anyway keep going keep it going little swords yeah, another sword Someone's toys that they're throwing away. Oh, a helicopter. Geez, that's a miniature helicopter. Don't mind the look of those. Going back in my childhood here. Just bear with me, everyone. Another plane. Egg beater. Army one, that one. And we've got a whole heap of trinket toys in here. So, yeah. That's what's in that bag. We might um, donate, or oh, even Legos, Legos man in there. So I'll just hang on to those. What do we got in here? Oh, okay, yep, no worries. Don't know what it is. Well, I'm not up to that sort of Fantasia stuff or anything like that. Anyway, we're just gonna put that all back into there. You'll probably tell me what who that fellow was in the comments. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, he used to fly around on a broom and, yeah, you know what I'm saying, who I am, who he is. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'll get back to the rest of this stuff. Um, got a dozen eggs, going to find out if they're okay. They say if they float, they're good. If they sink, they're no good. So I've got a dozen eggs. Our first find of the day was a bottle of soda water, um, still factory sealed. So that's gonna I'm gonna try that out with some wine maybe later on um, got some um, what is it anti streak with you I can't understand that one there but I think it's a body wash it is a body wash there's still a little bit left in it now I don't like throwing things away there when there's still a little bit left in it you can always tip it upside down let it drain over a 24 hour period and you get another wash or two out of it so i'm not throwing it away um i'm surprised that i actually found some beef stock still factory sealed so yeah i think it's factory sealed yes it is um and then also we've got some popper boxes apple juices i did have one there was four of factory sealed still got some gas in this can a uh, chocolate mousse from kfc i've got nothing to eat it with or have it with i can't scoop it out with my fingers i don't dare to um 
need a wash uh, a tub of table spread margarine still got the paper film on underneath I had a look at that if you go back through the video you can see I open it up and it's factory sealed one whole lemon nothing wrong with the lemon um, little lolly uh, we also got I'll get around to the camera in a minute we also got a bit of piping I'm going to try and use that on our caravan so for our drainage and that sort of thing also got I think that might be about a 15 meter extension cord but the actual ends have been burnt out so I'm going to get June to strip it out so that's about 15 meters of copper um, it's got three wires in it so that's yeah 45 meters of copper wow anyway getting down to this camera or before I get to the camera as you've seen in the video I was backing up to uh, I went back to the bins and I found this aluminium frame now there's been a lot of detail put into this a lot of work just to make that frame it goes all the way across the ute it's a damn good frame I don't know why they want to just throw it out but anyway that's what it is and uh, yeah but getting back to this camera you wouldn't believe it but it actually works it comes on and there's 10 left so let's see if it works say cheese not gonna work make a liar out of me come on what are you doing to me how do you work these things anyone tell me the lights on Fuji Fuji foo she's not working ah oh, well it's making a liar out of me making a liar out of me come on nah she not working I thought it worked but the lights on hmm interesting very 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 interesting anyway as you can see the light is on So yeah, it turns itself off, goes back to normal, but that is the find of the day. You can still buy these, you can buy the replacement films and all of that. They're a little cartridge that puts into the back there. It says it's gone to 10, so whether that's only got 10 in it, I don't know. Whether there's more to go, can't tell you. So yeah, I don't want to open it and find out that I don't know how these work. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Oh, um, we did get all of our cans and bottles and aluminium foil trays. And what we got today is in here as well. Well, we don't want that, of course. Slide that down through there. There we go. And I've got to load this all up. Get it home. So, yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe. And I will see you all on the flip side in the next video, everyone. Cheerio. Just gonna pop this on there.